Hi everyone, um, I have been asked to talk to you about how to edit your OU website so that you can either have a Facebook like button or a Facebook like button and activity stream. It's called a like box. Um, additionally, you'll see on here that we have a Google Plus One button, but we'll get to that in another tutorial. Uh, for those of you who don't know what that is, it is uh, Google's equivalent of the Facebook like button. So the first thing that you're going to do is go to Facebook and I want you to go to your uh, department's Facebook page. So if it has a set URL already, you're already ahead of the game. So for housing, um, if you type in facebook.com slash housing, as you see here, that's a custom name right here that we put in. Uh, this is the page that will load. Um, if you have a bunch of random text and gibberish at the top, that means that you haven't set your username yet. And in order to do that, you go to facebook.com slash username. So we're going to load that page. Uh, from there, you'll click the drop down menu, select whatever your company's page is, and you'll be able to then type in the um, URL that you want it to be for your specific page. I hit check availability. And as long as no one else have it, has it, you'll be assigned it. All right, so that's the first thing you have to do. The next thing that you have to do is go to the developer console of Facebook. So you're going to go to developers.facebook.com. As you can see up here in the URL bar. Highlights it. There we go. Uh, once on this page, you're going to click uh, apps on facebook.com, and then you are going to click on uh, core concepts. From there you will click on social plugins. So this is going to load all the basic um, Facebook integration you can do on your website. For all of these there are advanced functions. Uh, you probably will not have to use them so we're not even going to get into that today. If you simply want to add a like button you're going to click like button and it's really simple. All you're going to do is scroll down. You're going to type in that uh, the URL of your specific Facebook page. So for housing, it's http colon slash slash uh, facebook.com slash OU housing. We'll go back there real fast so you can see right up here uh, is the specific destination. That's what you went to the username. It's what you selected your specific username for. So that's what you're going to put here. So http colon slash slash www.facebook.com slash OU housing. All right. And then you should have a preview of how many people currently like your page. And uh, the default is to have uh, pictures. So what the send button does here is allows people to specifically send out your Facebook page. It's probably not going to hurt to have it. Um, right now, if someone likes your page, it just it's similar to the share function where it'll post on their wall that everyone is um, uh, everyone in their feed can see what's going on. So the send button is you click that and then you're able to send it to a specific friend. So um, if I want to send it to one of these people, I click on them and it will show up in their messages. All right, the next thing you want to pick up is your layout style. So you can play around with these. It's kind of just selecting what you want to show up, how you want it to look. Um, I'd probably say standard, uh, depending on where you're putting it on your site. Next, you can choose if you want to show faces or not. Um, finally, you can have the like button up here, say like or recommend. And then you can pick your color scheme, so it's going to be light or dark. So you can pick whatever you want depending on what your website looks like. And finally, get a font, which uh, I don't, there's no need to really play around with that. So once you have this set up how you want it, all you do is hit get code and it will load. Um, so even, even better. Um, all you're going to do now is just copy all of this and you can either right click and hit copy or you can hit control and C. Hit OK, it'll minimize the box. And you will then go to your department's website. So again, we're on the housing page, so open.edu slash housing. 
go down to the bottom uh, where you can edit the web page. And depending on where you want the content, you're either going to hit uh, launch a rich text editor for the main page or for the main section of your page, or you can click it for the additional content, which is the section that is above your news feed. So right now in housing, we have it above our news feed. So we'll launch that section. Now the formatting will, will display kind of funny initially when you do it, um, and even when you hit this preview. So what you're going to do is because you have code, you're going to hit the HTML button on the bottom. And uh, most of you will most likely have nothing here. Um, if you want to be at the very top part of your page, all you're going to do is just paste that code in right here. Once you have pasted in, you will then go back to your design page. You can hit preview, but you, as you see, it's, it's not going to, it's going to show up funny. Um, the first time I did it, it didn't actually have uh, this content on there. There's just error messages. So as long as you paste the code, it should display right. And then you're going to hit save. All right, so, I'm, so hit save. Um, then once you hit save, you, you obviously come out to this menu, hit save again, and then you'll be able to preview your page and see how it, how it looks. Um, if you need to make any tweaks or anything like that, um, you can go back into the rich text editor and edit that. The other thing that some of you might be interested in doing is getting the uh, activity stream also going. So to do that, you would do activity feed, or if you want the like button also included in that, you would do the um, sorry the like box. So similar to the like button, you're going to go through all these things, select what you want, what you don't want. Uh, the only difference here is the width, so you're going to decide how wide you want it. Um, and that's something you have to play around with on your site. So you're going to be typing 400 pixels. It's a little too big, I'd say. Let's see. 300. I don't know, I'd maybe start with 350 pixels. Uh, and you can always go back in and change that. Again, you're going to go through all these things. Hit Get Code. For this, you're going to take the iframe information. Again, copy that. All right. Hit OK. Go back into your website. Hit this edit button so that the new page loads. You will then go into wherever you want to put this. So for this, I'd probably recommend your main content. Or, um, you could even do it in your additional uh, content above your news feed. Uh, if you do that, though, I'd recommend having the width of it a little bit smaller than what we have right now. Hit Rich Text Editor. Again, since you have code, you're going to hit HTML. And um, the main page will have a lot more going on than the uh, news feed column, the additional content. So uh, your best bet here is going to be to uh, either put it at the top or bottom for simplicity. And all you're going to do is just paste it in wherever you want it. So this is where we have ours pasted in. And you will be able to um, then have it on your page. So you paste the code in, you hit design. You hit save, and then your, this will show up on your page. So that's a very simple way of how to do it. Let me know if you have any questions.